Cassini ovals can be thought of as the set of curves produced when a circular torus is sliced at every possible point parallel to its axis. So imagine cutting a doughnut into very thin slices with a sharp knife, always keeping the blade exactly upright and ensuring that each cut is parallel with the one before, and you'll get the picture. Equivalently, Cassini ovals are a family of curves, each member of which is defined as follows. Given two points, P1 and P2, and a constant B squared, each curve is the locus of points P, such that P, P1 times P, P2 equals B squared. The locus has the equation x squared plus y squared all squared, minus 2a squared times x squared minus y squared all squared, minus a to the fourth, plus b to the fourth equals zero, where a equals p1, p2. The Cassini ovals are named after the Italian-born astronomer Giovanni Cassini, who first investigated them in 1680 while studying the relative motions of the Earth and the Sun. Cassini thought that the Sun travelled round the Earth on one of these curves, rather than the ellipse as correctly proposed in Kepler's heliocentric scheme, with the Earth at one focus. If A equals B, then the curve is a special case known as the Lemniscate of Bernoulli. This is a curve shaped like a figure 8 or a knot or the bow of a ribbon, in the words of Jacob Bernoulli, in an article published in 1694. Bernoulli named the curve Lemniscate after the Greek Lemniscus for a pendant ribbon, the type fastened to a victor's garland. It has the Cartesian equation x squared plus y squared all squared equals 2a squared times x squared minus y squared. At the time he wrote his article, Bernoulli wasn't aware that the curve he was describing was a special case of a Cassini oval, when A equals B. If B is greater than A, the Cassini oval lies outside and encloses the lemniscate. If B is less than A, the curve lies wholly within the two loops of the lemniscate. The general properties of the lemniscate of Bernoulli were discovered by Giovanni Fagnano in 1750. Leonard Euler's investigations of the length of arc of the curve in 1751 led to later work on elliptic functions. There's a relationship between the lemniscate and the rectangular hyperbola. If a tangent is drawn to the hyperbola and the perpendicular to the tangent is drawn through the origin, the point where the perpendicular meets the tangent is on the lemniscate.